So let's look at an example. Let A be the two-point set, A, B, and let B contain the elements 1, 2, and 3. Then the Cartesian product, A cross B, is the set of ordered pairs, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, and B3. Notice that the ordered pair 2B is not an element in A cross B, but the ordered pair 2B is an element in the Cartesian product B cross A. So new definition, let A and B be sets a relation between the sets A and B is any subset R of the Cartesian product A cross B So notice that a relation R can be empty since the empty set is a subset of the Cartesian product A cross B. Now if the relation R is not empty, then the relation R contains ordered pairs of the Cartesian product A cross B. And if the ordered pair AB is in the relation R, this is denoted A relation B or A is related to B. So new definition. Let A be a set. A relation on the set A is any subset R of the Cartesian product A cross A, which we denote as A squared. So let's look at an example. Let Z sub 2 be the set of integers modulo 2. Then the Cartesian product of the set with itself is the set of ordered pairs. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Define a relation R on the set of integers modulo 2 by A is related to B if and only if a is less than or equal to B. Then the relation R is the subset containing the ordered pairs 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1, since 0 is less than or equal to itself, 0 is less than or equal to 1, and 1 is less than or equal to itself. The ordered pair 1, 0 is not in the relation R. 
since one is not less than or equal to zero. So as an exercise, let z sub 2 be the set of integers modulo 2. Define a relation R on the set of integers modulo 2 by A is related to B if and only if B minus A is greater than or equal to 0. List the elements. of the relation R. So new definition. Let A and B be sets. A function between the sets A and B is a non-empty relation which we will call phi that satisfies or satisfying the following condition If the ordered pair A1, B1 is in the relation and the ordered pair A1, B2 is in the relation, then B1 and B2 are the same element. That is, a given element from the set A can be paired with only one element from the set B. Now a function is also called a map or mapping so let's look at an example let a be the set containing the elements a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and let b be the set containing the elements b sub 1, b sub 2, b sub 3, where in each set the elements are unique. Then the subset R containing the ordered pairs A1, B1, A1, B2, and A2, B3 is a non-empty relation between the sets A and B, but is not a function between A and B, since the element A sub 1 And the set A is paired with two distinct elements
then we'll set b, b sub 1 and b sub 2. The subset phi containing the ordered pairs a1, b1, a2, b1 is a function between the sets a and b. Since it is a non-empty relation, between A and B, where a given element of the set A is paired with only one. element of the set B in this case the same element B sub 1 so let's look at a map diagram The subset R pairs the element A sub 1 with both the element B sub 1 and B sub 2. The element A sub 2 is paired with B sub 3. But this non-empty relation is not a function since the element A sub 1 is paired with two distinct elements in the set B. The non-empty subset phi pairs the element A with the element B sub 1 and also pairs the element A sub 2 with the same element B sub 1. But this is a non-empty relation where a given element in the set A is paired with only one element from the set B. Again, in this case, it happens to be the same element B sub 1. And so phi is a function between the sets A and B. So, new definition. Let A and B be sets and let phi be a function between the sets A and B. The domain of the function V is the set which we denote DOM of V and this is the set of all those elements A in the set A satisfying the condition that there exists an element B in the set B such that this symbol, the backwards letter epsilon, means such that the ordered pair AB is in the function and the range of the function phi is the set which we denote RNG of phi 
and this is the set of all those elements B in the set B, satisfying the condition that there exists an element A in the set A, such that the ordered pair AB is in the function. So let's look at an example. Now from the previous example, the function phi contain the ordered pairs a1, b1, and a2, b1. The domain of phi is the set of all those elements a in the set a, such that the ordered pair is in the function. In other words, all the distinct elements of the set a that occur as the first element in the ordered pairs, and so this is the elements a1 and a2, and the range of phi is the set of all those elements b in the set b, such that the ordered pair ab is in the function. In other words, the distinct elements b that occur as the second element in the ordered pairs, and so this is the singleton containing the element b sub 1. So new definition. Let phi be a function between the sets a and b If the domain of phi is the entire set A, then the function phi is a function from the set A into the set B, and this is denoted phi is a function mapping A into B. Now in this case, the set A is the domain of the function phi, and the set B is called the co-domain of the function phi. So let phi be a function from the set A into the set B if the ordered pair AB is in the function, this is denoted V of A is the element B, 